I'm oh already gosh, cringing. This is already the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. We have been online for quite a while now. Unfortunately. If you've stuck around since the very beginning, I apologize. I'm very sorry for what you had to witness. Especially if you were around before this. The further back you go, the cringier it gets. So let's take a trip down memory lane, shall we? When home I am strong as I we talk about how you just have the camera just sitting right in front of the AC vent. <laughs> this is something my sister and I love to do though. I, I'm honestly not that embarrassed by this. I still think it's cute and I have like a good memory associated to it. You also have a good voice. So that helps. Wow. Oh, baby. This is wow. just a, a mega flex. But I'm not even flexing. It's the sunglasses and the camera. Like, both your hands are busy. You're just like, what? I'm not flexing. Yeah, you know what? what I mean? There's a camera there. I pulled some likes. Just, you know, showing the nips. Mmm. Mm. This is when I was in my graphic design era. This is deep. This is really cool because this went in a magazine. So, like, I'm still proud of this. I did, like, little graphics for a magazine. A woman is only helpless when her nail polish is drying. Amen. Okay, guys. Amen, ladies. Thank you. Oh, amen, ladies. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. This probably wasn't my idea because this was part of like a bigger photo shoot of like a spec shoot that I was doing. Explain what a spec shoot is. You do like a massive photo shoot of a bunch of different looks, bunch of different styles, and a photographer just like you kind of spend that whole day just getting a bunch of different stuff. So then that the whole like set of photos that you got can be circulated for different purposes through the industry. To my excuse, this would have been within the spec shoot would have been like, I'm trying to like book acting roles and stuff like that. And it's like, oh, okay, he's like athletic. I remember when you saw this photo, you said, you look like Chris Evans. That's what you said to me. What? Yep. You said you look like Captain America. I wouldn't have said Chris Evans, but you could totally be Captain America in this. But it's slightly giving me Twilight vibes. Dude, yes, I'm like pale, right? I think the person who did my makeup like used a shade or two too light. I'll take a Twilight audition. Yes. Right before we met, I went to High School Musical. I went to East High in Utah. And that is Sharpay's locker right there. It's still pink and beautiful. That was an amazing day. That's not embarrassing. This isn't even embarrassing. Never prank your friend who sleeps naked. This is one of my favorite videos of all time. What's embarrassing for me to think about is me, me filming like, by myself, setting up the camera and then getting behind and being like, that shot that took like two seconds. It was me going <laughs> <laughs> and then sliding down the wall really quick. Wow, behind the scenes. Anyway, sorry guys, I'm a filmmaker. It's fine. Needle in the thread, gotta get you out of my head. This was about you. This was a picture I took before our first date. Was it? Yeah. Super Bowl Sunday, that... 2016. No. What? Oh, that was the first time we hung out. Never mind. Next cringe. Woo! Protein time! George A. <laughs> what are you doing? Eating protein. Why do you ask such stupid questions, Mark? Cheers. <laughs> That's the protein! <laughs> yes, I eat it. This was George's video that I, he posted somewhere else, and I was like, dude, if you're not gonna post it on Instagram, I'll post it. I remember that day, because we had a few videos lined up, and he's like, bro, I got this amazing idea. That's honestly still really funny. Yeah, it's so good. It's yeah. just funny looking at this and being like, that was such a different stage of life. Like, Gabe was really hanging with all the liners, and it was like, I don't know, it's like, that's what you guys did. We'd shoot a video for that person, we'd shoot a video for that person, they'd shoot a video for me, we'd shoot a video, and you then, and then you all just like finish and go to lunch and hang out and shoot some Instagram pics. It feels like a more wholesome time. I look back at that era and I'm like, man, it was so much easier to like upkeep a social media career because there was so much less content that needed to be put out to maintain momentum, if that makes sense. And probably like less amount of people. Oh my gosh, yeah, this one's rough. Wow. This is well, well before we met. I'm pretty sure I had done like a theater show the day before or something. So my eyes look like they still have like- Mascara. The mascara residue. You just look so little. Dude, I was like 19 there probably, or 18 or something. Okay, but like, how could you not have a crush on him? Hard eyes, hard eyes, hashtag man crush Monday, hashtag it's only Sunday though, hashtag sue me. Dude. Why? 
Hallelujah! Do you remember I loved this photo so much? Yeah, you had it as your background on your phone. Okay, probably not, doll. Yes, you did. Yeah, I probably did actually. <laughs> oh my gosh, what? you're wearing a Nashville hat. Look at that cute little outfit. You look like a Nashville boy. I kind of do actually. Gabe and I did each other's makeup. I mean, you look great. Thanks. I did your eyeliner really well. Oh, daddy, do you know you're still number one? Ew, why did I do? Why did I do that? Dude, she really... sounds great. Really? I think yeah. that, that was cringy on my part. This is really cute because it was with my brother and he's so tiny here. But why do I have a shirt that says Namaste in bed? That's the cringiest part of this whole thing. That is bad. Happy Valentine's Day. I've just got eyes for you. Gabe? How do you feel watching that? Honestly, it's not that weird. Like, the skit's fine. It is what it is. The weird part is that, like, I haven't seen Alyssa in... Years. This was right before we <clears throat> met, too, because I remember you, sh you showed me this. I'm oh already my gosh, cringing. This is already the yeah. worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Now we're going to get the TV that will be going there, and we're going to battle each other in Mario Kart because I have a Wii and haven't played it since... This is so terrible. What's bonkers though is like all these videos that are just like horrendous are why so many people followed us. That was our like growth period. Like our huge growth period was during this era. And it's just like, man, people have bad taste. <laughs> kidding guys, I'm kidding. Please stay. <laughs> Please stay. <laughs> so. so. <laughs> uh, I'm actually sweating. This is so hard to watch. I'm gonna crush it at Mario Kart and Gabe's gonna cry. Gabe's gonna cry. <laughs> Why were you like an actual bogan? Do you want to get into our the onesies? <gasps> and nerf, nerf battle, battle each other. <laughs> I'm gonna go on our channel and delete these videos. I just wanted to let you guys know that I got this new candle. It's basically a lit fam. How do you feel about that, babe? Okay, but whose idea was it to get another candle? Mine. So mine. You were looking at the candles, oh, and then I was like, let's sweet. get one. No. 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 Why? The fact that this was our content that you can like just do whatever. It's just so hard to watch. Favorite holy grail bicep curler. It's made out of styrofoam and metal. And um, I just believe it's really durable. My accent's just cringy enough right now. I remember just feeling awkward still in front of the camera, mm -hmm. and you were obviously a pro. It was your full-time job. You had been done. You'd been dunning it. <laughs> You're like listening to yourself and just like turning more Australian and slowly and slowly. All these early videos I edited, and it's crazy to see like the amount of time that it takes to get good at editing because these are horrendous. These are bad. Even though this is so cringy, I just have like sweet kind of butterflies in my tummy because this was such a fun time of life. So many people who were like talking about our engagement are calling her an Instagram model. Uh, <laughs> I am not an Instagram model. Why did you bring that up? Because then obviously I have to be like, guys, I'm not an Instagram model. <laughs> guys, stop it. I'm not. How do you feel that like Makaya can watch all of this? She's never getting a phone. Thinking of that is just like so cringe. I get my eyebrows waxed and I it would be a really good experience if both of us went together. Dude, you sound drunk. I really do. Like, what happened? One, my accent was a lot stronger. Two, I had my Invisalign, like, list. And three, your brain was operating three, at, like, a kilometer an hour. I didn't know how to, like, act natural in front of the camera. I think that's what it was. This is going to be so funny. And I have to go outside. Only really quickly. It's fine. And I'm so much bigger than you, like this is gonna- I'm like so jacked. I'm like so like, freaking jacked about? to the tits that like this isn't even gonna fit. Look at the ruffles. <laughs> oh my word. Uh. It's cute. <laughs> Next is this one. <laughs> I remember doing that. That's so funny. Let's be fair. Time has progressed. Yeah, what, yeah. what year are we in? This would have been maybe 2018. Less cringe. Way less cringe. Like there's a lot of progress in two years from. Thank goodness. 2016, I feel like was the getting started with our vlogs. 2017 was like figuring out our voice. Yeah, and it was know? also like a big hustle back then too. Oh, I just want to take a moment to apologize to you guys who had to sit through that. Thank you for getting to the end of the video, but also like, how dare you? But also, 
even bigger thanks if you have been watching us since then. But then like We've again, come a long way. how dare you subscribe for watching those videos. But thank you for still subscribing right now. And thank you for clicking the video that's on Jess's face. That is also some cringy moments of ours. Bye. Bye.